Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your brother L. L excels, excels the game, excels my name, and make sure you guys go ahead and excel today. In this video, I want to talk about steps that you can start taking today to help improve your life, to have a better lifestyle, guys, because we all get stuck in the trap. We all want to have a better lifestyle, right? We all talk about it, but only a certain few of us are really actually putting in work to make that lifestyle happen, you know, to get a better career. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you're struggling with dating and you want to get out there, be more social, get more dates, have girls actually chase you. Guys, you can do this, but there's a couple of actions you need to take first before you know you start improving your life. Because what does everyone do? Everyone talks about, oh, yeah, I, I deserve this and I deserve a better life. But not a lot of people are putting in a lot of actions and making moves into getting a better life, guys. So first things first, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, follow the IG and the Twitter down below. Let's just jump right into this one, all right? The first thing you need to do is you need to write down your goals, okay? Anything you aspire to be, write it down, guys. Get a journal. Um, you know, the reason I say this is because, guys, if you write something down, like you really, it's something is really implemented in your head. Like you really have to think about something when you write it down. So, if you have a goal, guys, I would write it down and write down a game plan on how you're going to get it. Let's say you want to lose 20 pounds. Let's say you want to get more money by the end of the year. Write it down. Write your goals down and write down how you're going to do it. Because people talk about it, right? Everyone talks, but not a lot of people put in the action into doing so. So, guys, personally, me, you know, I got my own, like, notebook that I use. So, I recommend you guys get one or get a whiteboard, too. That way you can, like, look at it every day you get up. And, you know, it reminds you of who you are. You know, that's why I got this poster because it reminds me I got to make life happen. You know, sometimes life isn't just going to come your way. You got to go to life. You got to take, you got to grab it by the horns, guys. So you want to, you want to really write it down. And this is how you're going to have really true self accountability, because if you write it down and let's say you could, before you go to bed, guys, you're going to look at your, your whiteboard or your notebook and you're going to see, damn, I didn't finish my goals. Like you only have yourself to play in. And that's the thing, guys, self-accountability. We really have to start taking a lot of it because, like I said, people talk a lot. But, guys, if you really take accountability of your actions and your mistakes, you know, you have no one else to blame, guys. If your life is going bad because of decisions you made, don't point the finger at someone just because, you know, you, you just because, guys, take accountability. You make your decisions. No one's holding a gun to your head. You made decisions. If you messed up, that's okay. But the thing is, try to do better from your last mistake and learn from it so you don't repeat it, guys. Okay? The second thing, understand that life is a race. It's not a marathon. Okay? Patience is really the most difficult part about self-improvement because everyone wants things to happen right away. You know, everyone doesn't want to be patient. Everyone actually lacks attention spans now. Why do you think TikTok is so big? Why do you think YouTube shorts are so you know, popular now because most people lack the attention span. Most people lack the patience to actually sit through something, grind it out, and actually make something out of it, guys. People want things to happen right away. So they see someone blow up on social media like TikTok or YouTube, or, and, and you're, they're like, damn, they're making all this money, or they're, they're lit, you know, they got clout, and you want it to happen too. So you might put in work into making something happen, but most people quit after a week, guys. Guys, you need to understand, like, if you really love something, you have to be all in about it. It can't just be for money. It can't just be, you know, for clout. You really have to love something and, like, really dive in, guys, because you have to keep yourself, you have to keep your mind occupied, okay? As a man, you know, let's just say you do hit, you, you hit the mega millions, right? And tomorrow, you know, you're going to have millions sitting in your bank account. You're going to just sit around and wonder, oh, what do I do with my life now? Guys, it's important that, you as a man, you find a hobby or find something you love doing and just, you know, I recommend try to monetize off it. If, if that's not your way, that's cool too, guys. Find a hobby, find something that's going to, you know, like, you know, you're going to dive right into. And understand, guys, jealousy, you need to control it. We, we all have jealousy. We all seem to see someone that's won in the past. You're like, damn, like, how come I don't, I'm not winning, guys. This is where really understanding that life is a marathon. There's no need to compete with nobody. All right, your only competition is yourself, guys. You're gonna see how people have nice things, but instead of hating on someone, instead of getting jealous, you could tell yourself, you know, if he got a McLaren or if he got this nice car, if he got a lot of rental land and he's renting out properties, I could do the same too. That's the mindset you should be having. 
You should be having, you know, a loving mindset, guys, trying to see your brother win, not trying to bring a brother down. Because this is happening too much. This is happening too often where people want to, they see someone building and they get jealous, guys. You got to control th th that feeling inside you, man. Okay? And third, you need to take accountability of bad habits, bad actions, you know. Guys, we all make bad decisions. We've all made stupid mistakes in our past, but you really need to take accountability of your bad habits, guys. Okay, start looking at what's distracting you as well, okay? Because we get distracted as humans. We get distracted as men, you know, especially with social media and TV at our disposal and TV on your phone too, right? You get distracted easily. So... Guys, it's time like you limit your weaknesses. If you know something is a weakness, you have to take accountability. Let's say you're struggling of going out to the bar every weekend and you're not saving money. Like you're blowing money every 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 weekend. Guys, take accountability. Realize like you're at, you're the one who spends the credit card. You're the one that swipes. All of this all those decisions are up to you. Don't get mad at people because, you know, you're going out and partying and, you know, Everyone's turning up and now you now you feel obliged to, okay, now I got to swipe my credit card to show everyone I'm lit too. We're popping. No, you don't even got to do that at all, guys. Guys, the thing is, you want to stop feeding your addictions and feed your focus, guys. Starve your addictions, starve your bad habits, starve your weaknesses. Whether this involves gambling, whether this involves smoking, drinking, anything, all that is bad, guys. Don't fall for these bad habits. Don't. Like, you need to really learn how to conquer this, okay? Because this is really what destroys a lot of guys. This is what really keeps people in a rut because people are always gambling. Most of us, you know, what do we like doing? We, li we, do we like going to a bar and we like drinking. Some, some of us excessively more than others. Some of us like smoking, guys. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But the thing is, all of that is just a waste of money. Like, once you see it like that, you won't even be wanting to do these things anymore. Like, honestly. I want you to think about the last time you went out and you spent money on drinks or trees or just at the casino, right? Or, or on a sports bet. Guys, did it really benefit your life doing that? Or could you honestly ask yourself, could I have used that money and spent it more wisely? Like, guys, honestly, some of you guys could use the money you've been spending on that to, you know, invest it in a, a stock or a crypto or maybe even start up a business, guys. All, guys, I'll tell you back in the day, I know people who have spent, you know, thousands of dollars on drugs and alcohol, guys. And, you know, most of the mo most of those people, they're stuck in the same positions. And, you know, I'm one of a lot of you guys. I used to, you know, drink very excessively uh, in the past, especially, especially when I was younger, especially when I turned 21. It was a little bit out of control. But the thing is, guys, you know, I only have myself to blame. I made those actions. I didn't tell no one. No one told me or forced me to go out every weekend and go out trying to parties at, you know, my university that I went at. Like, no, that was my own decisions. I made those decisions consciously. So, you know, that's what set me back, guys. You know, all the t all this time I was out partying and all the times I was out, you know, really not b benefiting my life in that way, guys. I, I could have used that to, you know, maybe start up YouTube earlier. Maybe I could have started up a, a business idea. You know, guys, like, you got to realize, like... You know, you have to hold yourself accountable because if you don't, you're never going to want to grow up. You're never going to want to learn. OK, so once you hold yourself accountable, you're forced to grow, bro. You're forced to realize, like, damn, I'm making bad decisions and I only have myself to blame. There's no one else to blame but yourself. And that's when you're going to start making some changes, guys. OK. And the, the final thing you need to do, guys, is you need to f make a schedule. OK, I've noticed a lot of younger guys and just a lot of men in general kind of just, you know, float by life. You know, they don't have a plan. They don't have a schedule. Guys, it's kind of like this, right? It's kind of like getting on an airplane and not even knowing where you're going. Like, you should be knowing where you're going on this journey. Like, guys, some of us just float, float through life just, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck and waiting to spend it at, at the on a vacation or at the bar or, or on stupid things or on materialistic things, right? When in reality, you should be using all that all of that to like actually like have a, a game plan because most of us really go through life without a game plan. Like guys, and understand life is gonna take a long time. Life doesn't just happen like that. Like you won't be, I'm telling you right now, money ain't falling from the skies. It's not falling from trees. 
So in order to get things you want, you have to work for it. And it's a matter of patience. Once you master that, you know, once you learn that, guys, once you control your patience to get things, life is better because you're not going to worry about stupid things. Like, you know, guys, you know, your life is always going to improve because, you know, you're patient and you're working diligently towards a goal. Like, if you don't have a schedule, guys, you're going to just be like floating through life, like no plan. And, you know, before you know it, guys, you'll turn 30 or 40 or 50 or 20 or 60 and you had no plan. And now you're just like looking at your bank account and you're looking at your life and like, damn, what the hell happened? It's because people didn't have a plan. Start having a plan, guys. Start executing what you want out of life because life isn't going to come to you. You have to make life happen, guys. Like stop. A lot of us live in the, the, the delusion where we think that, you know, since I, since I go to my nine to five, I'm bound to have a good life. Like, no, it doesn't work like that, bro. You really need to put in OT and things that you're passionate about. What You got to put an OT at the gym. You got to put an OT on some a, a hobby or a side business or just something you love doing. Because if you don't, you will never be happy, guys. You're just going to be floating through life aimlessly. And that's what brings a lot of people depression. And I notice a lot of you guys, I know, I not, I'm not going to say I noticed, but I know a lot of you guys are upset in life right now because you're not where you, where you want to be. And that's okay because, you know, you should be upset. You should be wanting to always level up. And that's a great thing. But at the same time, you got to appreciate your journey as well. Like self-improvement, you're not going to wake up and be, you know, a, bo a boss, guys. Like it takes time. It takes trials, tribulations. It takes a lot of mistakes. It takes a lot of courage. It, it takes discipline, bro. And if you can't master these things, like that's the point of this whole journey, guys. It's to learn, to learn how to master things so you're better off in the future. Like you, you master your confidence, you master how you speak, you master your financial standpoint in life, you master how you see yourself. Like you really need to be, guys, start embracing the tough times too of self-improvement where you don't really see changes because those are the moments that really build you up. Those are the moments that really build true character. When you're down in the rut, when you're literally guys grinding it out by yourself, no one's motivating you, no one's pushing you, but yourself, you're the, like guys, you are, that's king material. That's King's disease. That's a King's mindset. So keep that up. If, I, I'm applauding you, bro, because I, I, I know if you made it to the end, I know that you're relating to what I'm saying because you're about self-improvement, guys. Keep this mindset and understand like, if you if you implement what I just listed into your life, life is going to slowly get better. And there's other things you could do. And I can make a part two to this video. Let me know in the comments. But these are just little mini, minuscule steps you can start taking today. And I guarantee you, life will start working its way out because now you're gonna have a game plan. Now you're gonna understand it's not a race. You're gonna understand like, oh, I gotta take it day by day. You know, just attack what you can, guys. Take accountability of bad habits and weaknesses and have that schedule, guys. You, you need to be busy, guys, because when you're not busy, you have downtime to just, you know, just do bad things because we're bored and then you're gonna be like, damn, I wanna chill with people. So that means you gotta spend money or spend money on girls and it's just a waste of time guys focus on leveling up your life now that way you can enjoy it way more in the future guys if you made it this far in my video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel follow my instagram and my twitter down below i appreciate every single one of you guys let's continue to excel every day